Are you following a workout program but not quite sure if it's working? Watch this. Our next caller is April from Michigan. April, what's going down? How can we help hey, you? Hey, hey. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome, to, welcome to the mail truck. <laughs> um, so uh, I guess my question uh, is, I'm, I'm in mail care, obviously. Um, I am um, super active. I have a walking route. So I do about 10 plus miles a day, um, depending on the mail volume. And I'm currently doing MAPS anabo anabolic. Um, and I'm just kind of, I'm just, I'm a recovering uh, boot camp classer. Hmm. Um, and I'm just kind of trying to figure out if I am, um, in the right program, if I, um, should be focusing more on like performance or just kind of trying to make my job a little easier because I, I was doing those boot camp classes and I started listening to you guys and I stopped doing those because I was like, why am I so tired all the time? Yeah. Well, it's because you have a job that's very demanding and then you're doing a boot camp class literally every day and twice on Sunday. Wow. All right. Well, I, <laughs> so you're in the right, you're in the right place now. Yeah, this yeah. is, this is, a, this is okay. a relatively easy a a question to answer, but it's a very common question. So I'm going to ask okay. you a few more questions. Okay. Yeah. Ha what have you noticed, uh, since you started maps anabolic, have you improved your strength? Uh, do you feel like you're building muscle? Do you feel like you're oh, getting yeah. more fit? So let me yeah, break it down for me. What have you seen since you've started it? Um, well, I, I mean, I, I have a, a training background. I've never actually trained anybody, but I went to school to be a trainer. So I ha I do have some um, knowledge. So I did used to lift weights. Uh, so I have noticed obviously like my muscle coming back very quickly, um, which is awesome. But I do still struggle with like imbalances because with this job, um, we carry a, a mail bag on our shoulder on the same shoulder pretty much every day. And I have noticed um, that like one, si one of my legs is strong stronger than the other. I don't know if that is due to that weight bearing down on my one side the whole um, mm -hmm. time I'm carrying mail. Could be. Um, so yeah, so that that's something that I'm um, trying to like switch up. I try to do some more unilateral stuff. Okay. Um, Perfect. But you but you are getting stronger and you are noticing improvements in performance while doing maps anabolic. Yes, definitely. Okay. But um, I would go. I would go maps performance after you finish maps anabolic. Go maps performance. It's really good. Mm -hmm. But what she's doing okay. right now is great. What you're doing is smart. It's yeah. actually perfect, uh, in my opinion. I think maps anabolic it, for metabolism wise, from what you were doing before with the everyday boot camp twice on the weekends, like the perfect yeah. thing for your body it's a good would shift for your body. Yeah, is to go to anabolic, and then okay. what you're doing is actually really smart. That you're. This is where we always tell people, right? Like our, our programs aren't perfect for everybody the idea is that you take the base and then you modify some things for yourself perfect example of what you just said is i notice i have this discrepancy from left to right in my legs mm -hmm. so hey maybe instead of always doing back loaded or front uh, front loaded squats where you're bilateral do some unilateral work you know do some lunging instead or bulgarian split squats or single leg leg press um, instead of that movement, and I think that is a great yeah. uh, a great thing right there. What now I'm going to make an assumption, uh, and you tell me if I'm right or wrong, but uh, mm -hmm. do your calves dwarf Adam and Sal's? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, uh, no, they're probably magnificent. No comment. Probably. That's the right answer. Well, yeah. No comment. Just no say, comment. Let's just put that out. If you there, want a free all. program, make sure yeah, you yeah, answer yeah, yeah. I'm the one who gives out free programs over here, so just be no, careful. So, you know what, though? Uh, another thing, April, um, you in your question that you sent us, you, you you did. There was a body fat percentage question you asked as well about getting leaner. That's almost entirely. Yeah. That's almost entirely a diet thing. Okay, so if you're getting stronger, yes. yeah, you're building muscle. Yeah. It's a diet thing, so that's going to be about okay. nutrition. And then I do want to comment on how you hold your bag while you're yeah. you're, you're delivering mail. I mm -hmm. would start to very slowly. Okay, that's in bold letters. Very slowly, okay. switch the bag every once in a while. Don't don't go crazy. Yeah. and do yeah. half of your route with it on the other shoulder because it will hurt. Mm -hmm. You're not used to it. But I okay. would do like. You know, let's say you're doing 10 miles uh, and it's mm -hmm. and the bag is always over one side. I would do one yeah. mile with the bag over the other side and then do nine like you normally yeah. do. And slowly, yeah, but slowly but surely work it up to where you can. It might take you like, how long have you been a mail carrier for? Um, I'm about three years. Okay. I would give it like a year before you do, before it's equal on either side. Okay. So slowly do okay. it because you're so accustomed to one side that if you go five miles with the bag on the other shoulder, you're not going to feel very good. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I do try to do that. On it. The only um, problem with that is that when we carry mail, all of our stuff is in one arm. So you only have one arm available to you to pull out of the bag. And it's like trying to carry mail in the other hand is kind of like trying to write with your left hand if you're right handed. Mm, yeah. It's, yeah. it's uh, a yeah. little tricky. Yeah, it's so it's, I, it's hard, but um, yeah. I'm going to, I mean, okay, you've only done this for three years. You already noted, uh, noticed mm -hmm. a difference. If you plan on yeah, doing this for I, a long exactly. time, yeah, I would do it because yeah. you're going to see, I mean, the imbalance can get, yeah. I mean, over the years, over 10 years, 15 years, it's if you compile. Do, It'll compile and it'll be really hard to reverse with exercise because you do you do this so so often that yes. you know two or three days a week of training even five days a week of training to try to balance it out you're never really going to catch up so I would start now it's a pain in the butt okay. it'll take you a while it'll take you probably a year or longer to feel comfortable on one side so do it really slow there's no there's no time limit here Just do it really slow get to the point where you can you know, do both sides and feel okay on both sides because uh, over the years, this is going to become more more of an issue. Okay. And uh, is there anything as far as like, should I, on my um, trigger session days, should I be focusing more on unilateral? Like, yeah. uh, I think that'd okay. be smart. Yeah, that's, like, that's smart. Focus heavy on that. Yep, yep. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have my, um, I have a little cage here and I have my uh, revision assistance span. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Only you got to do what you got to do when you're working 12 hour shifts. That's that's super awesome. Yeah. So no, no. Yeah. Do what we said. Do you have mass performance by the way? Cause I'll send that to you. I do not. That would be awesome. Thank right. you so much. We'll send that over to you. Then one more favor. If you can look into this, Adam ordered, ordered a penis enlarger. Never got it. See if it got lost in the mail. <laughs> Schaefer. Somehow awesome. it got lost. You know, yeah. they actually do that. Do you know that they actually have that where you can order and then it requires us to get a signature for it? So it's wow. like a, embarrassing for both parties. It's hilarious. Wow. So the box, the box will just have yeah. like, they don't, it's like, it's, it's honestly pump, not the real thing. So it's a gag. Wow. It's no, hilarious. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they make a fortune. I'm on totally it. joking. He got it. He didn't, it wasn't lost in the mail. <laughs> anyway, th good, thank good. you so good. much, April. Thank good you, April. <laughs> thank you, guys. Have a good one. No problem. Yeah, I, I guess the rule of thumb is this: if you're wondering if it's working, are you are you getting stronger and more fit? The answer is yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I think a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, is this the right program?" And then you ask them, well, are you stronger? Well, yeah, I added 15 well, pounds yeah, to my... That's, you know. that's well, happening. What do you think? You know, yes, it, it is I, I like your guys' advice right of there. switching uh, switching hands and stuff like that. Yeah. And even though it's difficult for her to do it, the, I think it'll be benefit. You know what it reminded me of right away? So when I was in high school, I remember my freshman coach uh, was giving me a hard... I was left, I'm left-handed. So I had a tendency to always drive with my left hand and like he was like getting on to me saying like this will be your Achilles heel. This will keep you from being a starter if you can't get your right hand to be as dominant as your left hand. Mm. So I remember like of course at home I'm playing with dribbling with my right hand time but then I also started to eat with the opposite hand and brush my teeth with the opposite hand like Now you're ambidextrous. Right. So yeah. I it's, and I kind of am, right? I'm not quite all the way there, but it made a huge difference by but, and it was trust me it was frustrating, yeah. you know, eating with the and brushing your teeth it felt really really awkward at the beginning but You'd be surprised how quick the body starts to figure it out. Like you stick to it long enough. Well, bro, back in the day, yeah. uh, might even have been as recent as when Doug was a kid. That's if a you were left, it's not recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back when he went to school with Moses. No. Yeah. Um, no, back in the day, and again, it might not have been that long ago. And I, I would love to hear Doug's opinion on this. If you were left-handed, the teachers in school made you. Yeah, the, do everything the with your right. Yeah, when they you know, slap that hand, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. no, they would just. It's no, you can't write with your left. That's wrong. You got to do it with your right. And then the kids would learn, and yeah. they'd be totally fine. It's like you're possessed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did that happen when you were a kid? I don't recall that. Okay. No. However, like scissors and things were always an issue for these kids because yeah. there wasn't oh, yeah. anything scissors for them. Was a real problem. But my pet pterodactyl, though, was uh, <laughs> left, left clawed and <laughs> didn't have any issues. He wrote. He wrote it to That's school. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.